So what you're looking at at this point is the Rideau Canal and um, as I mentioned in the other video, uh, Hogs Back Falls or the Prince of Wales Falls um, is used to divert water so that the canal can function properly. So I'm just going to pan a bit slowly here and you'll see the locks. There's only two locks in this particular uh, part of the canal system and again it was built by Colonel John By sometime between um, 1826 and 1829. But boats can actually pass through here which is the nice thing about it. And we'll just take you a little bit over here. Well, you can still like appreciate the work they they did way back then. Well, let's just zoom in a bit here. You can sort of like see the the water trickling out of the uh, out of the canal lock. So we're going to move forward here a bit. Slowly make my way up. Today is a nice, bright, sunny day here in Ottawa. Um, actually, there's going to be sunshine all week, which is a nice thing about this time of the year. Nice temperate temperatures. Uh, so this is designated, I'm going to zoom into the sign here, maybe you can read it once I stop panning in. So it says here, Rideau Canal, National Historic Site of Canada, Hogsback Locks. is a very lovely, pretty city. The one thing that American tourists will always say about the capital when they come up for a visit is that it's a nice, clean city, and it is. We uh, really don't throw our garbage around too much on the roads, in the parks. We are very conscientious about what we have and what we like to keep long term. There you go again, and I'm just going to go up the stairs here for one last panoramic view. Go up we go. Enough steps. And so here we are. Now, the water that's flowing underneath the bridge there is actually coming from Mooney's Bay, which is a beach. Uh, Mooney's Bay is one of the nicest beaches in Ottawa. The next one would be Britannia Beach. Um, and they're pretty, pretty clean all summer. Uh, we don't have to close them down too often, but if the bacteria count gets too high, then it's closed for the day. But usually, we've been more successful lately to keep the pollution levels down. So as I said, just underneath that bridge and going outward will be the Mooney's Bay. And we'll just pan to our left one last time. And there are the locks.